Ever find yourself in a place or moment so beautiful it felt unreal? This was that kind of place for me. Nestled against the backdrop of the Sierra Nevada mountains, Alabama Hills is a mesmerizing natural wonder famous for its unique geological formation. The surreal landscape has served as the backdrop for numerous Hollywood films like Iron Man and Gladiator. The landscape was out of this world and overwhelmingly exceeded my expectation. How did I not know this place existed? Since getting a taste of how beautiful the Eastern Sierras was last year, I was determined to explore the other parts. I really thought I had the perfect itinerary. We would drive north from Los Angeles County for three hours to reach our first stop. Then we would continue north and make additional scenic stops before reaching our campsite at June Lake for the night. Except we decided to get some Chinese food before heading out to the mountains. Alabama Hills is such an easy to reach scenic spot where you can totally get that feeling of being somewhere far away and you won't break the bank doing it. It was seriously tough to say goodbye because every turn had a different view. Already plotting how I can drag the fam out here next time. With Blue Hour coming to an end, we bid farewell to the beautiful landscape and promise to be back. Even after skipping all our plans, we still have two more hours to go until we reach the campsite. I cried inside knowing I had missed the opportunity to witness peak autumn foliage at Convict Lake and sunset at Mono Lake. It felt like such a rare opportunity to be on this side of the mountains. When we arrived, it was already pitch dark. Luckily, we had some leftovers from lunch, so we quickly cooked that up and got ready to sleep. <laughs> Camping. We got the tent set up. Next, we're gonna inflate the bed and see do we want it in the car or do we want it in the tent? <laughs> so no, cozy. Mm -hmm. I'm too tall. I know. That night, we both had our worst night of sleep. We arrived in the dark last night so we couldn't tell but the campsite is so beautiful. All the pain from last night almost completely vanished. I chose this campsite because it was only about 2 hours away from Yosemite National Park and the Jung Lake Loop is supposed to have stunning fall foliage. We opted to not bring too much camping gear since we were not driving from home but we could be more prepared. With this kind of temperature, it makes sense why most campers we see here are with an RV. You're such noobs. I like this campsite. I give it an A+. Bathroom lights are super bright. Not scary. And the inside is clean. No bugs. Mm -hmm. Already got rewarded for last night. Uh, Happy out there. We're just not as prepared. Yeah, because it came from LA. Well, who knew it was gonna be cold then? We didn't pack our warmest stuff. That's true. I should have brought our wool socks. Shouldn't have been stingy. I was freaking stingy too. I brought all my heat tech items. I wish we had more time here, but we can't make the same mistakes again. We packed up our stuff and head out to explore.
I was acting weird. I said, well, I'll put low. That usually means it might land randomly, but then I still wanted to fly it over the lake anyways. So I tried to go over there. I was in the middle of the lake and then it was frozen there. And it's like, landing soon, landing soon. I'm above the lake. I tried to get the sticks to move so I could fly to land. Thankfully, it let me land on some real land and not just in the middle of the lake. We're at our first stop, June Lake. We are at June Lake Beach. It's less in the car, it was crazy. We turned the car on, it was 29 degrees outside. We were supposed to get here last night, but we left LA a little bit too late. So we ended up just hanging out at Alabama Hills for a while, but I think it was pretty worth it. We got most of the good shots. It's just on our drive out. That was where all the epic Joshua Tree rocks were. It's like we're driving through it. We never seen that round rocks that high before. Pretty cool. I would never have guessed I would be someone that chases sunrise and sunsets or even be camping in the wilderness five years ago if not for my passion to capture moments like this. Next, I want to take you with me to experience fall at Yosemite National Park. <laughs> 